He's not running Doom through him. I don't care. I win anyway, you sniper. You piece of garbage. You want to run Doom through? Run Blob. You're dead. Guaranteed lethal. Get wrecked. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of getting Doom Shroom today. But we win anyway. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are playing the Thick Boys deck. There are a lot of ways of getting a very quick Thick Boys. Maybe that should have been the name of the deck. Um, one way is just to get a cat lady. I hope there's enough pets. We're gonna keep an eye on that. This deck's always subject to change during the stream. Uh, but you can buff the cat lady and quickly get a 3-4 by playing either a Freddy cat, you can get a 4-5 playing Yeti Lunchbox. Um, or just another cat lady or your Immortitia super will actually buff it twice since this is both a pet trick and creates a pet zombie. Uh, so that'll actually turn the cat lady into a 6-4. Anyway, whenever you do that, you're able to copy it quickly with a synchronized swimmer running teleportation zombie, so you can teleport in the swimmer after you've buffed the cat lady that turn. Uh, we are running secret swimmer, so you can even just play cat lady or any of your other one drops and grab them with the secret agent. This adds them, uh, adds 3-3 three, three to their stats, puts it back in your hand. You do that on turn 2, you play a one drop plus a secret agent. And on turn 3, you replay that huge card and copy its stats. Uh, with the Synchronized Swimmer. Another way to also buff Synchronized Swimmer is to uh, use your Zomblob. You can just play this even on turn 3. This is going to be a 4-5, uh, which the next turn you're going to be able to copy with your Synchronized Swimmer and really just get a lot of... You're just getting a lot of like medium to large size minions quickly uh, and hope they don't have a Doom Shroom. I'm not running any removal. The removal in the stack is large for launch using bonus attacks to finish them off quickly. Once you have said Thick Boy, um, just in case you're not able to get the secret swimmers in the bonus tech, so when we have a couple of maniacals as a backup, you can even maniacal into swimmer if you need, uh, as a last resort, or else running area 22 as a way to buff minions and make them hit face with the frenzy. Uh, the lunchbox can buff anything. You play lunchbox and then you copy stats with synchronized swimmer. It's just another combo. It also, of course, is important for the cat lady. Every once in a while, maybe you'll get a cat lady and a couple lunchboxes and a bonus attack. Uh, and just do a ton of damage to the opponent that way. It'll be like a 16 damage combo. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. Um, I, there's a lot of things we're keeping an eye on in this deck. I don't know if the Cat Lady is good enough because are, are there, is there enough pets? Or is it justified? I mean, you have you have uh, Lunchbox, you have Mimitisha Super, you have Frady Cat. You have uh, Secret Agent, which anyway, it turns into a 3-7. Uh, so we'll get rid of one secret agent. I mean, that's secret swimmer at its finest. This is a very good card against Captain Combustible, so... We will do it like that. We'll summoning defensively if we need to here against the Blooming Heart, whatever he plays. Otherwise, I mean, do I play this? I think I do. I think I do, because it gives you another option of something to scoop. Can't really deal with the Cat Lady. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> turn one swashbuckler, turn two a three three. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at this start though. There's a cool combo, by the way, with secret agent and teleportation zombie. And that is that is gonna bury blast us. That is that you can scoop up a guy with the secret agent and then replay it immediately. So we will grab you. Again, three seven is fine for turn. Guys, this is going to be for turn three. We're going to have two three sevens. And I guess especially Captain Combustible can just not do... <clears throat> he just can't do damage. You know, he can't do seven damage to something. These are going to be alive for the rest of the game, picking, you know, chipping away at his, at his health. <laughs> uh, we'll do bets. So if you think this deck, and this is subject to change again, very likely we're going to make significant changes to the deck. So if you think this deck will win 8 wins out of 10, vote yes, yeah, 7 and 3 or fewer vote no, we're here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash frymop. I mean, this is turn 3. Again, we haven't had another pet yet. The moment we do, this gains an extra 3 attack. Hello. But I mean, we have two, like, wing nuts on the field on turn 3. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous stats. Uh, so we probably just want to play Area 22 here. 
So teleportation zombie, you can scoop something with secret ape and replay it. There's also a combo between teleportation zombie and, and Frady Cat, which is a little bit more subtle, perhaps. Uh, yep, yeah, so this can go face. And we'll go area, and we'll do this on turn five here. Uh, the combo is that if you have teleportation zombie in the field and you pass, and they remove the teleportation zombie using a trick, exactly, which is the main way you remove it, then it kind of screws you. But if you have Frady Cat, them using that trick gets punished from the Frady Cat. Moving out to lane one. Bruh. Gosh, it's so nice. This actually loses the buff next time he plays a trick, but that's okay. We're, we're getting a lot of work done here. I like Teleport Blob. Um, this Frady Cat, if he plays a trick... It doesn't really matter where it goes, right? The Blob has six attack here. Blob can also just be a 3-7. I turned 18 today. I can finally subscribe the prize only fans. <laughs> Congratulations. Happy freaking birthday. Wow, that actually can move there. That's cool. We might wait a turn since he's we need to uh, proc his block. I think we're going to... I think we are going to hold off on the blob for a turn. And we'll just do it like this. Maybe this should have gone here. Can we proc the block, please? Got it. <laughs> uh, again, with two teleportation zombies, one's hiding in a gravestone. That's an easy pass. There's so much we can do here. Oh my god. <laughs> we can scoop. Oh. Oh, oh, this guy's dead. So, the, um, how do we win here? Blob, this is clean. This is clean, right? Yeah, there's no, I'm, there's probably some way to do this with Secret Agent, but I don't care. So, we can also, uh, scoop up the, the, the Frady Cat and do Secret again. This does seven attack, right? One plus six. I ain't tripping. You can also uh, scoop up the, the Frady Cat and replay it here. But yeah, that's a clean victory with Blob. Hell yeah, okay. So far, so good. We beat Captain Combustible, that's a good sign. I don't have full confidence in this deck either, but, um... Okay. Squashing you. More like squanching you. Uh, we need another minion, right? Oh, see, this hand is cool. Alright, this hand. Let's see if he has a one drop. If he doesn't, that that's, punishes him really hard. Hell yeah. And if he does, then it trades one for one, and you know, it means his forget me not sucks. So that's a that's a it's nice to draw cards in this deck. I, I'm a little nervous too, we're gonna get field clear. They're just gonna have a shamrocket or a, a doom shroom and then we die. Look at the bat. We actually have like a whole OTK setup. Oh my god. So, I, I have to let the cheese cutter live, so I think I'm just going to scoop this. We'll set it up next turn as a 3-7, which for Citron to deal with is just a nightmare. Oh my gosh, it's another pet! Hell yeah! <laughs> You're getting gods. We, we might get an OTK cat lady. 
I almost, well, you know, well, if we buff this, this, see, this doesn't die to Shamrocket, and it also doesn't die to Shrinking Violet. This, this card is a nightmare for Citron to deal with, bro. So to clear this, we need to play two pets here, which we could. This will go up to four, five, six, seven. I wonder if I do it. If you die do. on January 13th, 2023 at about 4.43 p.m., can I have a Twitch channel? What? <laughs> <laughs> Samage, you're drunk today. What are you even saying, Samage? I really want to open this up. I don't know, I'm kind of rushing it. Maybe I shouldn't, but... I love how this cheese cutter is just a 4-4 four -four now. See, so yeah, I'm just so afraid of getting transmogrified. I don't know. Right now, it's a proc to block turn. Nah, you're dead. I mean, not dead. But you know. There's that. I don't even think... <coughs> Do I play around next turn Shrinking Violet? And actually play this card? He could also just get Mog, so... I'm gonna hold off on it. So he has Protect, Protect. Transmogrify and Walnut. He's used to Superpower yet. He definitely didn't use Mog. I think he used Protect. Here's two cat ladies. I'm, I'm gonna go for this play. <laughs> this is just ridiculous right now. We'll put the one with more attack in the middle, I guess. So he doesn't get a better Shrinking Violet. Ever unban someone? Yeah. I mean, we'll have one in bonus attack. Which is just so much damage. This buffs both cat ladies by six attack. Ridiculous. Disgusting. He is protected! <laughs> That's not gonna help. Uh, yeah, boys. I think we win. I'm pretty sure. Pretty damn sure. It's guaranteed lethal, folks. So we found a new OTK cat lady deck, I'll take it. Okay, so far, just over the course of two games, Cat Lady hard carried both of them, right? Maybe this one cheese cutter did. But uh Cat Lady definitely performed extremely well. So I think this is beginning to an answer the question. Is does Cat Lady need to be in a deck with a bunch of useless pets? Or maybe you just take the one good pet, you put it with a couple other good cards like Freddy Cat. Lunchbox, I think, is okay in this deck. And then you just do it like that. Just don't overload your deck with just because it says pet. Doesn't mean it needs to have a million pets in it. That's a that's a that's just a ridiculous hand. We actually have a turn one play, which is so awesome. So we're gonna go cheese on one, cheese swimmer on two. <coughs> Secret swimmer on, on three. And we'll go from there. I think the bonus attacks is, is, is really the, the best finisher of this deck. I think you're gonna need to really push for lethal too. Maniacal hasn't done anything. Shut up, Galax. We haven't gotten to your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gotten to turn six yet. We haven't even seen it. So we're gonna oh my gosh, it's more swimmers. Um Yeah, there's no reason not to put that on the ground. Let's stick the first one in water. And yeah, it's just gonna get worse and worse from here. There's no like doom shroom or anything. The biggest removal is like blow or or backyard bounce and doesn't really solve the problem because we just keep replaying these cards. They're super. Yeah, you missed! Precision shot! <laughs> More like garbage and we're drawing an extra card here which is huge. Now we have really nice card advantage. Look at this guys! This is crazy! So it's gonna be... Um... 
it's gonna be another one here. Well, I might as well do this here, right? And we'll go Cat Lady. I think I'll actually go for the Bass this turn. Might as well apply as much pressure as possible. Meanwhile, in Ohio, this guy playing Cosmic Bean. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> the the cool thing about this bat... Oh, I forgot he played Super. I don't have to play around middle lane, but it crosses the block, so the Cat Lady very likely... Just sets up a good old, good old lethal. Did he conjure this? Oh, he did. I was kind of wondering about the the order of play there. So we got six block six. Looks like uh, bats are just gonna hit face. No, it did. Bats pulled off the, the three roll. So now, opponent either needs a lucky blow or a freeze. There's the freeze. <laughs> Ohio <laughs> bean. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, good luck. Oh, we got bonus attack. <laughs> Didn't need it. Didn't need it at all. We're so close from being nice in lane one. So close. There's that. Yeah, man, it's guaranteed anyway, but might as well run salt into the wound. Look at the three and oh, I mean we're talking about heavy wins. This why we haven't like seriously bricked yet. I mean, but we've won in every which way. We had a blob victory, we had just teleportation zombie craziness, we just did some stupid Oh my gosh, Cat Lady is getting God's work done. We're getting the combo a lot here, which is very cool. Got it again. This is a really good card against Grass Knuckles, so I'll just hold on to that. We'll get the value. So, in this hand, we have to see. Forget Me Nuts is really annoying. Ah, do I do this? Oh my gosh, Flambots. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. Okay, so we could take this out. It's an. It's like, it's, it, it draws us a card, it prevents damage. This is going to be some really annoying Grass Knuckles deck with Gatling Pew, probably. You know what? It also really makes the Swimmer do 5 damage on turn 3, so I'm, I'm going to do it. it. Saving this for something else and for the cat buffing Cat Lady, it, it, can't, it can't be right. Sorry, I'll turn that sound back on. Huh? We get an extra card, so it just creates more, you know, flexibility in terms of what we're able to do. We'll go for this now again. Uh, 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 forget me nuts is really sad. That is really fine. Well, time to shine actually would have been a good play there. If he knew what was about to knew what was about to happen to him. The cool thing is if he rockets the if he rockets the swimmer, which is the amphibious hard to deal with minion. The Cat Lady actually punishes him on this turn three Shamrocket. That's awesome. Because now he gets six. Yeah, get wrecked. That's right. <laughs> he saw that. He saw the secret Swimmer Cop 1 3. He's like, nope, nope, next. Swipe left. Oh, man. Oh, hi, y'all. That's how you say hello. That's how you say good morning in Japan. In Japanese. Japanese. I'm slowly morphing into a weeb, guys. It's inevitable. Oh, hi, yo. Uh, this is... I mean, okay, there's, there's, a, there's a way that you play this where you pass turn one, you do, like, both of these on turn two. <coughs> I probably should not keep this entire hand, right? I'm actually gonna get rid of this one, okay? Okay. <laughs> take it, take it. So wait, how do we play this against Solar Flare? The one drop usually just dies. <coughs> I wonder if we slow this down. And actually go two, three, something. 
I really don't want to just get a one drop removed from Solar Flare Super on one here, though. Try don't become a weeb. This community is cringe enough as is. So do we go for this? I think we go for this. I wonder if I play ground, too, because Scorch doesn't matter here at all. I'd love if he Scorched. And then we just don't want him to play Colonel Pult. So it's like this. And now, Super or Berry Blast, not only do they only remove one of the two threats, but they get punished. It's going to kill the Cheese Cutter. Either the Cheese Cutter is going to live and draw a card, or the Freddy Cat's going to live and grow. See, now we actually really need another card here just to be able to scoop. I don't want to rely on this cat lady. It's just going to get berry blasted or something. There's that. I think that's fine. Okay. See, I think I'm actually going to grab this. It's a three, it's a little buffed. It'll get a two, two buff, and then we, we're able to do some, we're able to actually get some huge momentum going on. That's really annoying, but I have to go face. And then we're just at the mercy of Cobb Cannon. This is, this is really bad. I think, I think Cobb Cannon is going to be one of the things that really hurts the stick. Maybe just for a cop cannon, I should have played the Freddy Cat and won. I kind of want to set up the, the the Area 22, theoretically. <laughs> He's ramping to berry combos, bro. Gosh. There's the berry blast number one. We'll see if he has another one here. Yes! So it's like... It's like this. Then we can either not, we can either area or bonus attack. Man, I gotta use this to evaporate just to get this card out of my hand. I gotta use that as soon as freaking possible. He has eight sun here. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, heal combo? For real? He's running berry heal combo. That's very cute. Uh, heal is also another thing. I mean, th this deck piles on the damage pretty heavily. For killing his ramp, he's got two cards, too. There's a bunch of good news right now. We rolled... Oh, we rolled well. We rolled average. Double bonus, okay. But he needs a berry blade. He has three cards in hand. If he doesn't... Oh, no. Don't... Well... Actually, no, that well, okay, he's up to four. No more heals. No more heals and we're fine. Yeah, that's guaranteed lethal, actually. <laughs> well, okay, he could get Weed Whack. But even then, he can't win. We're gonna block. No, Weed Whack doesn't help. Three and three is gonna kill him. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. See ya. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we actually won that game. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was scary. Solar Flare in general is scary against this, but then he ends up with 5 damage Berry Blast because he's running Sergeant Strong. That's a cool deck. And then he's running Heal. Oh my gosh. I guess maybe this deck is good against Heal because the burst damage is so high that even if they heal a bunch, it does make a difference. I don't know if that's true. I'm guessing this deck has a certain time limit that it needs to get a certain amount of damage or else you just lose. But maybe that's why we're running Maniacal and stuff. I don't know. Here's Grass Knuckles. A very different story. We're just trying to play around the ground lane. Don't think you're good enough. Oof. Is Double Cheese Cutter good? Nothing changes, huh? Just not to get bricked further. I'm going to try to keep this. Let's see if we can draw this card because it'll... It'll just improve our options coming up the next couple of turns a lot. God damn it. <coughs> oh, no. 
Here's this, yeah. Seeker agent will come in clutch. These bonus attacks, you see, they don't really get a lot of value with a 2-2. Two -two. What did he play last turn? Oh, potato mine. <laughs> this dies. I mean, he, a whole superpower, really powerful superpower, uh, just goes just goes to die. Because, again, it adds two health, doesn't draw him a card, it's like a sad photosynthesizer. Because it, doesn't, it wasn't going to take any damage that turn. Godless. So, I mean, we have the bonus attack play. I don't have to teleport this in. I'd actually rather do the bonus. Well, should I play around Shamrocket is the question. And I really do need to draw a card. If he has Shamrocket, we lose. If he has Grave Buster, we do not lose. So, this is how we're doing it. Well, I run regular Potato Mine when there's Primal Potato Mine. Maybe it just doesn't have it, you know what I mean? Just take for granted and everyone has all the cards. That's fine. That's the Grave Buster. We're, we need this card bad enough that we're, we're gonna... We're gonna take that out. We really don't want to deal with an Amphibious Gatling. We don't have an answer to that on this deck. So now we play this, and we'll see. I mean, it's, it's the Shamrock is significant, but since we're drawing two more cards, we honestly don't need this to live, and we just top decked. Hell <laughs> yes! So it's one, and then just two. Let's not be too greedy here. We'll do double bonus attack next turn. But we're at four, on turn four for Grass Knuckles to deal with a 5-5. Five five. It's not. It's not It's not happening. This is also going to give us a superpower next turn, so I love how this is just... That's okay. And that's his whole turn, too. He's not even dealing with it. These bonus attacks are going to come... It doesn't protect you from... See, this is a cool card, but it doesn't protect you from bonus attacks. doesn't protect you from, like, minions that destroy things. Like, you know, pa pa abilities from actual guys. That's why Untrickable is, like, a very cute concept. This will turn into a 5-6. It's not worth upgrading, obviously. We're just going to double bonus attack. And we'll, we'll, we'll draw a card here, so that's really cool. Besides for... Doing a ton of damage. Hopefully he puts a guy that dies to a bonus attack here. He'll be afraid enough of this. These bonuses are going to come in hard. We're also blocking, which is so great. He does not have two cards and one of them's a Doom Shroom. He does have a Shamrocket, though. That really does hurt, because we, we wanted those cards really bad. Time for Ohio. Get him in Ohio. So, down to five. We're a bonus attack away from victory. If we get summoning our bats, we just win. That's guaranteed lethal. Unless it's Cat Lady. Yeah, we're good. Because he has no superpowers that deal with Amphibious Lane. It just doesn't exist in Grass Knuckles' kit. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Another dominating game. Again, we had some moments where we were like, Oh, we need a card. What if he has Doom Shroom? But at the end of the day, that was six really just absolute ass whoopings. This deck is really dishing it out. Man, this is so cool. <laughs> In all fairness, if you're playing this at home, we are getting Secret Agent and Swimmer. The first few turns a lot. We didn't actually get it that game though. We top deck like one on turn like we got the swimmer on we got the sorry, we got the secret agent on two and then we just grabbed the swimmer on four, I think. But anyway. How do we do this? Oh, it's too many bluffs. Oh my gosh. Is this the time where we brick? <coughs> I think I'm gonna play this. Well, we really actually just want to play a blob on turn three here. I'm gonna try for this YOLO. Man, there's a lot of grass knuckles. Is this the same guy though? I don't want to play against the same guy. Yeah? I don't like that. Card draw instead of maniacal would make deck better. Card draw? I don't know, man. I I just want a a, a guy. Anything. Any guy would be great here. That's a guy. I'm gonna do... Okay, so we can play around. We can play into Rumble and Spike Weed Sector on ground. We can sort of play around him having a 2-3. That's not a Black Eyed Pea. It's basically just Juggernaut. If he plays Triceratops, it's nice, but he's not gonna play into this. 
I think we do the smart move when we do this. And hopefully he just has a Triceratops in his hand. It's so funny that. Or hopefully he has nothing. Wow. That's literally best case scenario. Best case scenario. See now, I'm going to take this as a 4-5. This upgrade. Or do we? Is there another play here? There is not. We're upgrading this to a 4-5. See, watch him have a Shamrock right now. Because we're gonna be able to double on the on the stats. This only it added two three, but that 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 really multiplies once we play the swimmer. So we'll have swimmer, acid rain to deal with the cucumber. So that's really convenient. Uh, he gets a legendary. Who cares? There's a bonus attack. Um, we can ramp. So we'll either do a bonus attack or we'll do these two. Are these four fives? It's good. It's that's a lot for turn four. This is just a lot to, for him to deal with. Probably like always gonna. <laughs> it's protected. Yes. There's no bonus. It's definitely gonna be acid. Basically kills that card. And I'll get a little extra brains. Why not? <laughs> this this draw is coming up is important. It should be something that combines with cat. Oh, that's fine. Hell yeah. So we can actually just set up a six attack blob now if we want. Is there a, a world where we blob in one and and kill the Triceratops? Ooh, that hurt. Man, the Captain Cucumber. What a top deck. It's so good here. So this dies. There's there's really no... Well, we can kill this card. It's probably worth it. And it actually revives this for next turn. Because it's only take four. So it's a six attack blob. Man, are we all in on this play. This doesn't actually kill any of these. And we can unfreeze... It's a seven attack blob. Uh, we can unfreeze oh, using this. The problem is... If, well, he can't block this turn and get rumble. Yeah, so that's fine. I don't know about that play. I, we didn't really have an option, though. Has he, he has shown us a superpower, so we can always teleport this in. Oh, man, but everything has one health. That's the problem. Bruh! He's just running Pekanolith. Oh, that really hurts. I don't think now that Pekanolith... There, there were, there, we had options, but I don't think we do anymore. This is, there's no answer to this in the stack. What would we need right now in order to be able to win? Like, maniacal bonus attack. We'll proc the block this turn. That's the best we do. We don't do anything with this hand. <laughs> we need the bonus attack to win. This attacks and grows this and draws another card. Who knows what he's going to get. He's on freeze. Proc the block. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Oh, now what? Okay. Uh, just, what is the only way to win? We proc the block. We grab the blob. This usually gets blocked this turn. And then we and then we play we play this in bonus attack. So this this just goes anywhere here. I'm gonna do it here because I don't know Rumble. I don't know. Well, he doesn't have Rumble. I'm just gonna block the three. He'll usually draw a card and then we block the seven. There is a there is a way to win this game because this will have eight health. The blob naturally has five once you scoop it plus three, and then bonus attack will win. So as long as he doesn't have like another splash card. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's running Doom. I wonder if this is a sniper. I wonder. Hmm. Ow. Rock the block is so important here. Good enough. <coughs> The problem is we can't play 
We can't play that blob. We were trying to scoop a blob. We cannot play it. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee. Okay, here's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this. Yeah, probably the sniper. We're on Steam Trim. Bro, don't be stupid. Good, yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> well, we'll tag that up to probably a sniper. Who the hell runs Doom Shroom, man? That wasn't bricked. That actually was not bricked. That was getting countered. Imagine if you didn't have the candle. It was an easy dub. We had so much damage. And we would have just done bonus attacks. Maybe with the Doom Shroom, we still would have won, but still. Okay, so here's an interesting hand here. Two, three, four. No, this would have to be on tur off turn four play. So what do we actually get rid of here? We can go two, three. Did I get rid of this one? Oh, this is so awkward. We definitely pass one here. There's nothing to do. <laughs> the winter melon too. There was a lot that happened that game, man. Right, without the winter melon, the mechanical would have done nothing. We would have had five health still in lane five. But anyway. Why did he set up garlic on one? What is he gonna stick behind this now? Sand. Sometimes you can't overthink these guys. I'm gonna play around second garlic, I guess, and we'll do this play. <coughs> now we'll have Frady Cat Swimmer as a 3 4 amphibious on turn 3. It's not bad. Not great either. Honestly, we had six extremely dominant wins. Uh, Acid Rain actually kills that, which is cool. Six re dominant wins and then one really BS loss. Very sus indeed. Uh, it's, it's an environment. It's better. Then we'll have this play. Hell yeah. Then the second swim round five can copy the one we play next year. So this, we'll actually have one, two, and then one to mess up his board. What's your favorite RNGs deck? Probably Conjure Leap. Pretty good one. It only goes up to two, but it's a lot, it's a lot of stats now. We're, we're losing a lot of health. We're also gonna get... Oh, there's another cat? Is this better now? In fact, I'll probably just chump lock this. This is very interesting. I'm gonna do this play. Look at this freaking beast of board now. It went up to 8-6. And this is a 3-4, I mean, that's fine. We can always Acid Rain this next turn, so whatever he's gonna play here is a bigger threat. I just really wanna chump lock this lane. I don't... I don't... I want to be safe. We have like 8 plus 8. If he doesn't have a hard removal card, we win right now because we have Frenzy on the ground and then we have Amphibious. Mugs that. Come on, a pet! Come on, a pet! Please! Please! Okay. Card draw. <laughs> okay. Whee! <coughs> That's okay, though. Got punished. Brady Cat now wins the trade in lane, th lane 4. He's not running Doom Shroom. No one runs that. Shut up. No, no Doom. No Doom. Uh-uh. <laughs> he literally he has water chest and he cannot block. You know what this is? It's a go nuts deck. Is he running free? That's actually huge. Actually huge. 
Your mom's actually huge! <laughs> Damn, this actually still dies. It doesn't even kill the garlic. Wow, he just negated our entire life. That was sad. We need a pet now. It's maniacal. Ugh. This is so bad. Right now we're bricked. Now we have nothing to say. What do we do here? We could get a pet. Do I, do I hold off on this and then pro let him proc the block? This is very sad, but I'm doing this play. Doom sure we don't do a damn thing this turn. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Acid Rain. What would I secret agent here? Very decent Acid Rain. I'll see what happens. Because bats, bats brings this up to eight. It's definitely worth it, right? I, it dies for free here. Well. I could just scoop this. It's not terrible. This will proc the block. I think we just scoop this card, the three cost card. It takes another two damage, and then one more in this lane. But I think it's. I think we can afford it. The Starfruit doesn't die, but he can't really buff it. Is he just running Starfruit? He's just running. Okay. Proc the block. Thank you. I think now we just go for Maniacal Laugh and we're good. There's not a whole lot he can do about, like, the 2-1. He could go a Shrinking Violet that would extremely agonizingly hurt. I think Maniacal's still our best bet. Because even if he does that, procs the... If he has exactly Shrinking Violet in these four cards, we lose the game. Otherwise, it's a pretty sure victory. Once we start playing this, uh, I don't even know what happens at that time. This only buffs them once, by the way. It's not a trick. It's just a... It's just a pet zombie. Please, no shrinking violet for the win. Please, please, please. He's running so much tech already. I don't know what this is. I don't know what star for. <coughs> I thought this was a team up deck. I thought I was going to start doing go nuts. I don't even know what's happening. No way! I guess Brainana and Forget Me Nuts are also. The other problems, and this also, man, well, we would have won still here. Okay, so now what? Oh, this is rough. Is there any chance of winning anymore? The Forget-Me-Nuts messes us up here, too. Okay, well, we can Maniacal Laugh here. The problem is, okay, so two damage procs the block when we Maniacal. We actually, I don't think we Maniacal yet. It's 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 very awkward. Very off. But I think this is the play. And then he only does one damage this turn. He might just have nothing here. It's way more likely, because when you Maniacal... Procs of block. This started shooting starfruit just wins before we're able to do a frenzy to attack in two. So I think we'll we'll just pass here. We're not gonna like grab anything. He'll do one damage to our face. We're gonna draw an extra card. We should have a maniacal laugh next turn. I think he does nothing. No, 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 no. Bad. Okay, he's still doing one plus three. We still could block. We still could block. We gotta roll a three and a two now. Winnable? Winnable game? Easily winnable game? No. <laughs> Come on! Oh, we had that guy. <laughs> We're on the 10 and 0 run, and it's all going horribly wrong. Who the hell runs Marine Bean? That's the real question. And shooting Starfruit. You know, we don't have a removal against this. Actually, shooting Starfruit is really good against the deck. We just don't have a way to deal with it. 
<laughs> Most decks can deal with a 2-2. This one can't deal with anything. We this deck is all in all day. One, two, like two, three is the play. Please remove one lost thanks. Why? Sandwich, you're drunk. What is going on, Sandwich? That's cool. How do we do this play? <laughs> I think we're gonna... Should I commit this one? That makes sense. You know what? Screw it. I'm not afraid of Wall Knight putting too much pressure on Lane 3 Cat Lady. No, it didn't do a damn thing. So now, now it's time for fun. I don't, do we even swim her yet? Well, I don't think we do. I just lunch here. He is protected! Okay. That gets punished. Okay, we don't lunch, because we're not doing damage. I'm gonna do teleportation zombie. Lunch. Well, we can't do all of these. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we have to set this up already. I don't know what we do here. Do we lunch? Do I just play really slowly and patiently for next turn here? I mean, this will do 4, 3, it'll do 7 damage. I think we pass. I know this is really awk. Really awk. But the play now is going to be lunch and double swimmer, teleporting it all in, man. Uh, well... We can also play this to punish him. What is he gonna do on five is the real question. It's probably better to double up on the on the cat ladies anyway and only play one swimmer. So that's what we'll do. Yeah, Doomshroom and Shamrocket are don't do a damn thing here. There's that. Okay, we have to make a calculation. Right now, this, this lunch box actually solves the problem. And we can also set up more damage. It's probably worth it. The other consideration is going face for 7. We have 14. I mean, if we roll really well, we could just win if we buff this one. I'm going to do the smarter play, I think. Which is this. And then this gets the god stats. There, I don't think we acid rain here. It's not really much of a point. Again, two seven and seven would win, but we're not gonna go all in on just one play. I think we're we're doing okay here. <coughs> would not have worked. Bonus is exactly what we needed. Now, if he removes this card, we're we're kind of screwed because we don't have any way to buff these cat ladies. Really would love him not to have a removal card here. He's not blocking lane 5? Oh, come on. Okay, well we got a 3-3 swimmer, which I th is, which is... Which is good enough! It's actually enough! Look, he has 7 health! Ah, oh, we're fine! 3 1 and then it's bullseye, so. Wait. Well, you could California roll. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. No, 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 <laughs> you need every every shot. It's so important. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're seven and two guys 
Spam it up. Spam it up. All the fries, all the channel. What are the best, guys? I didn't even check. It's all on the line. Yo, guys, 56% of you voted yes. Moist <laughs> voted no. Let's go get moist. Oh, man. I can't really reliably get things set up on the ground here. I'm really... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> What about the swimmer, though? Do I just ditch this? How do I do this? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to draw something. Is, is the answer? I think we just pass turn one. There's a there's a way of playing this deck. You pass turn one. We'll go two. Spam this dry on three, and then teleport the cheese cutter in on turn three. And then maybe by then we'll have a way to buff swimmer. So here's this lane. Yeah, this has to be because everything else dies to rumble and spike weed sector. This lives. That is fine. We're really not gonna have any tricks to play. A secret agent would go a really long way here. Right, this actually is probably our win condition this game. I might. I might play the, the second Freddy cat here, just to be able to use Evaporate now. We have Evaporate here. So, I definitely want to draw the card. I don't play this yet. This is going to be a nail biter. This is Grass Knuckles. It's got the Captain Cucumber rolling. It's going to depend a lot on what he gets. This is a huge card draw, though. No way! That's not what we need. That's a dead. This is like drawing nothing. This is like drawing extra brick space. <coughs> that's so annoying. So it's probably going to be evaporate. Oof. That gets protected. But that's that means the screw. Well, is evaporate even good now? It probably is. Well, well. It means instead of us winning this trade, we lose it. I actually could just... Well, I could evaporate and then buff this. So this will become a 5-5. Five, five. Alright, that's correct. We don't want him drawing another card. That will be the end of us. The last of us. We actually have a pretty decent um, swimmer for this next turn now. For turn 5. There's a secret agent. Is there a secret agent play really quickly here? I don't think so. There might be next turn, though. He's drawing. It really just depends on these draws, man. The Conjures. If he plays a trick, by the way... The, it, the Cat Lady says... And he, cat, what is, how does... Sorry. How does Freddy Cat with two health work? Well, it dies to Rumble, so... The cool thing is, that's his Rumble now. I think we can just win here. Because we have, we have a lot of, I mean, he can't, can he deal two damage? Do I risk it? So Blob right now does six, seven, eight. Well, he's not going to do two damage to us. He can't, he's not going to have a, one card and a... And a plant food here, right? We, but see, this play, oh man, huh? Oh. So, we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Is there a way, wait, one, two, three, no? I don't, I don't, was there, I don't think there was a play there to actually win. We got Briar. That's fine, it kills the Briar, draws the Sakara. Where was the lethal? I, I might have missed it, I don't see it though. The, 
The Briar Rose kills anything we play in Area 22, so that was not even an option. I, I think we're fine here, because now he can, dealing with the teleportation zombie is not even an option. I think we're good. And right now, obviously, it doesn't do anything. He doesn't have a two-nerf legendary, so we don't have to worry about any of those dragons or the, the, the Colonel Corn. Colonel Corn, anyway. Uh, yeah, Colonel Corn doesn't win. He's not running Doom through! I don't care, I win anyway, you sniper! You piece of garbage! You wanna run Doom Shroom? Run Blob! You're dead! Guaranteed lethal! Get wrecked! Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of getting Doom Shroom today! But we win anyway! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Tell me it's not snipers, guys! Tell me it's not! <laughs> Eight and two! This deck dominated. What did we lose? Remember the games we lost. Okay, the second game I would say is legit. The first game was 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 <coughs> Canalith and Doom Shroom, and he conjured a, a godlike turn five Winter Melon, man. That is correct. The answer is yes. I got the eight and two on the day. Read them and weep, moist. <laughs> Good old moist. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking on him. Alright, guys. Blob, man. The deck came together. The secret swimmer, the blobs. <laughs> the teleportation zombie was clutch. Thanks for convincing me of that. We didn't end up getting a chance to play Maniacal Laugh. One of the games we lost, the second game we lost, we actually had pretty much a sure thing lethal with Maniacal Laugh if one of his four cards was not Forget Me Nuts or Brainana. Or Shrinking Violet. Those are the three killers, and he had one. But anyway, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. That was thickboys.exe. That is definitely going on YouTube. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.